it's craft time with Miss Carlene. Today we're going to make a bunny rabbit. You'll need a sock, and this is a baby sock. If you have your own, it'll be okay, but you're gonna need lots of rice for it. And then we have the rice that'll go in the body. And then we have yarn or thread to tie the rabbit to make it look like a rabbit. And then we have roly-poly eyes. And you have a marker, if you don't have roly-poly eyes, to make the eyes. And a glue gun. And make sure mom is with you when you're using your glue gun. So what we're going to do is take our sock and we're going to add the rice just above the heel. And it may get a little messy, but it's okay. Okay, it may get a lot messy. Working on it, working on it. Almost there, almost there, almost there. So we're just gonna sweep up again and pour more rice. Isn't this fun to use rice instead of have to eat it all the time? Okay, so there we go. Next, we're going to take our thread and we want to tie it around the top so the rice doesn't fall out. So we're gonna do this. And I would tie it quite a few times to make absolutely sure that it's stable. It's not stable enough, so let me try it again. And see if it doesn't work the first time, just keep trying. It's okay, you can't mess up. There we go. Okay, now the next step is we need to make the rabbit's face. So what we're going to do, let me get these out the way. You're gonna take like right up under the heel and you want to make, we're gonna tie it right here so it starts to look like a rabbit. And again, you want to tight as, as tight as it could be. And you know what, that's not working out very well. So let's try the yarn. I think I'm pulling a little too hard on it. So let's try the yarn. Much better. So if you have yarn, I think that'll work a lot better. So then you just clip it. Can you see it starting to shape up? So the next thing we want to do is to, oh, it came undone. Let me find yarn to do the top again one more time. And see, it's okay if you don't get it the first time around. There's always a way to get around it. Excuse me while I get some more yarn. Hi, right, I'm back. So we're going to put the yarn. Top. And squeeze, make sure we have the rice in the right place. And we'll tie it again. One more time. Okay, now it's secure. We'll cut. And then what you want to do at the top of your sock, this is gonna be the ears. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut down the middle. Not quite to where we had it uh, pinned together here. So it'll look like this. And then we're gonna grab where we split it. We're gonna take it and we're gonna round it off like a rabbit ear. See what we've done? And if you think that's too big, you can always cut your ear down. It depends on how long you want it to be. So we'll cut the other side. bunny ears. We'll just straighten it out a little bit. Still wants to let's see. There we go. Now we have our floppy ears for our bunny. So the next thing we want to do I was just thinking, we have cotton to put a tail on, but let's see if maybe we can pinch the back end and create a tail. So you would take a, a pinch. You know what? It might be easier just to do the cotton ball. And this is when you need your parents because we don't want you to get burned by the hot glue gun. So let them help you. And what I did was I had a whole cotton ball and I cut it in half to make it a little smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go stick it like that. Then our next step is to put eyes. Now I'm going to use the roly-poly eyes. And you need two. If you only put one, it'd look kind of funny, so we're going to use two eyes. So we're just going to find a place to put it on the side. starting to look like a bunny? Okay, now we have to make the nose. So I'm gonna take a magic marker and we'll find where the center and we're going to make a, a nose. And then we're going to make a mouth. And to decorate, I have a blue ribbon, and you can use any color ribbon you want. And we're gonna tie the ribbon. Around your bunny. And since he's gonna be a boy, we're not gonna put a bow, but if you like your little girl bunny to have a bow, you can surely make a bow. And it's a little bit long, so we'll just kind of clip it a little bit. And now you have your bunny. Isn't he cute?